Hello, 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 everyone. Hi, how are you? This is a review of another movie. I went to the festival of the New York movies and things and stuff without all the without all the movies that filmmakers wanted to release because of quarantine. So we got this festival and instead. Corona. Yeah. So in the last review, I felt pretty downtrodden about the state of the festival this year. And then this movie came to me and I was like, oh, snap, we're back in business. This is very cool. Uh, so the next film I saw was this documentary called Hopper Wells. And it the film is a conversation that Orson Welles directed. So this is the newest film by Orson Welles, director of Citizen Kane, who is currently dead. And he just, he just decided to make one of the best movies of 2020. I don't know how he did it. He's the GOAT. <laughs> so this film is a conversation between Orson Welles and Dennis Hopper. You may know Dennis Hopper as the director and star of Easy Rider, the antagonist in Blue Velvet, and he's in a bunch of movies. I can't name them off the top of my head because I don't know anything about movies. I've only seen Marvel movies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was the bad guy in Speed. Mm -hmm. Have you seen Speed? I have seen Speed. Pop quiz, hot shot, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so, yeah, Dennis Hopper's done a lot of things. But this conversation was filmed in 1970. Uh, at this point, Orson Welles was in his 50s, I think. And Dennis Hopper had just directed Easy Rider the year before, which was his debut feature. And it was framed as, like, a great film that, you know, you know, in the same way that uh, Citizen Kane was looked at when uh, Orson Welles did Citizen Kane, you know, after their first feature, you know, they're both seen the same way. So, like, even in the text in the beginning, it's framed like, you know, Dennis Hopper is what Orson Welles was in the early 40s. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's sort of like Orson Welles talking to a younger version of himself in a way. And the way that the conversation is framed is very interesting because in a normal conversation that is filmed, you'd see both people talking. But, and even though there are multiple cameras in this film, they are all pointed at Dennis Hopper. So whenever there's a cut, you're cutting to you're cutting to Dennis Hopper's face and then you're cutting to Dennis Hopper's face again and it's not presented in like a quote unquote professional way either it's very raw so when a reel ends you'll see them resync the image to the audio with the the I don't want to say the clapper I forgot what it's called I haven't been on a set in so long because it's goddamn quarantine the clap stick no it's not called a clap stick it's the marker or I think right I don't I don't remember what it's called I had a name for it that I liked more than clapper but whatever it's a clapper now <laughs> <laughs> I've been using the term clap a lot especially in relation to my sidewalk <laughs> which is a reference to a video that isn't out yet uh <laughs> <laughs> Which you'll see, hopefully, on October 31st. Mm -hmm. But uh, as I was saying, so you're basically seeing the conversation in this very organic and uh, raw way. And you're only seeing Dennis Hopper, but you're hearing both Dennis Hopper and Orson Welles. And they're also surrounded by people like Dennis Hopper's friends, I guess, or just people who are around. It's a very weird, like, room. And Orson Welles is, like, in the corner in the dark. And, like, you see him, but you don't see his face. Like, like if he goes up to grab another drink, you'll see him. But... But this film is the most captivating two hours I've seen in months. This is like, this is one of the best films of the year by far. And as far as like experimental, quote unquote, experimental documentaries go, this is like, this is it, Chief. This is one of the most interesting conversations you'll ever watch um, if you're into film. Just hearing them talk about what film means to them, what a film can do even if it's stuff you've heard before even like just hearing the masters say it like hearing orson wells uh hypothesize film and also just challenging dennis hopper on his own beliefs is very interesting and a lot of this film is Orson Welles challenging Dennis Hopper in a way. And they disagree on a lot of things. The way that Orson Welles talks, he sounds like a libertarian, like conservative who wants to be left alone. And Dennis Hopper sounds a lot like a socialist. And and he even hints at that, but he says he doesn't want to say anything because he's gotten a lot of attention from the wrong people, which if you watch it, you'll, you'll know what he's talking about because he mentions them, but I don't want to say because I want you to walk in as blind as possible. But there's a lot of disagreements and there's a lot of uh, prod and a lot of challenging uh, between the two. 
but it's done mm -hmm. in such a way it feels so alien in the way that people talk now and the way people discuss important things now in terms of like what's personal to them and it it feels like aliens talking like <laughs> like it's just it's from another dimension of existence i'm like wait people used to talk like this even if it was personal this is so weird. So there's an element of that that's really interesting. Again, the way that go they go into filmmaking and the way that uh, Dennis Hopper as a quote unquote character is developed as the discussion progresses is very interesting. And I think if you're interested in film, if you're interested in filmmaking, if you're interested in directing or writing or just, you know, peeking behind the curtain, I think this film is an essential viewing. And there are very few films that will be valuable to you uh this year and i'm giving hopper wells an eight out of ten it's awesome oh wow yeah you should peep i think you'll like it a lot Ooh, maybe you'll be like peep. dang this is cool this is liddy <laughs> if you enjoyed this video hit the like button if you agree or disagree tell us in the comments subscribe if you haven't already share with your friends do all the things the matrix video exists and it's done Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>